Turn on the torch, light up the flame. Time to melt some glass, my friends. There you are. Here I am to explain, to teach, and create again. No, I was going to use a short one, but what do you need one? Here we go. Just what I'm looking for. Piece of tubing on the end of my blow hose. And stick the other end of my mouth, sound like I'm mumbling or something. I decided I'm going to make you today. I was doing some some demonstrations on Facebook and did a couple of elephant ornaments and realized I haven't made, especially with this newer design or newer uh, setup, a snowman yet. So. Without further ado, we're going to do a snowman Christmas ornament. Sound good? Sound good to me. Okay. I have decided. First of all, we're going to do, of course, snowman is three round balls, one on top of the other. One a little bit bigger than the other and getting smaller as you go along right right so first the bottom one blow it out it's not going to be huge but it's not going to be that small either then the next one little bit smaller than that one now this one's going to be fun because I'm going to even put the top hat on here and that's going to be part of the ornament itself There's the top part of the head. And now I'm going to go back in. I'm going to go to a single flame here. Eliminate the outside flaming completely. That way I can round these and sharpen them up a little bit. Oh, where's the time going? Hold it a second. I hope this doesn't do anything. It's going to shake a little bit. Maybe. Okay. Now, we got all of the three round balls. And I'm also going to do a top hat here. Put a nice little Maria here. And that, the rest is going to be the top hat, and I'll put a loop on it. I'm going to round this and then flatten the bottom so it could sit by itself if you wanted to. Not a perfect. That'll do. Ah, now the arms. I'm going to ba basically do just the mitten type arms, and this is all going to be clear.
So we're going to leave it with that. Seal the arms in real well. Don't just stick it to, but make sure it's becoming part of the piece of glass. Now I'm using about a 10 mil, uh, but you could probably use about a 6 or 7 to get the job done if you got it. And always, you know, a nice, hey, thumbs up. Like I said, I was going to do mittens on these guys. Instead of the sticks. Let's do the other one. Same idea on the other side of the body. Now right now, the front or the back is, is not really prevalent. When you start putting the, uh, the buttons on the thing, like so, that it becomes apparent which side is the front. Now, now the eyes, of course, just a dot and let it roll in a little bit, and another dot and let it round in a little bit. When you got the carrot type nose, which is nice and pointy, and you could put the smiley face on it too, but I'm just going to put the carrot type nose in the eyes. And there you go. Simple but effective. Now, I'm going to put on the connector here. Where is it? Jump out at me. Go ahead. You were right here a minute ago. Oh. Hate that when that happens. Oops. There it is on the floor. Uh, Light this baby back up. Now, when you're doing a one out flame like so, it helps to have the outer ring going on a little bit of the oxygen anyway. I did that basically, yeah, I turned off the outer ring when I did that. And that comes in handy to warm out something. Do a little flame annealing. But now I'm going to get it right here. And pull it off at the top of the hat. And I'll also leave a little bit of a, what I call a um, blow hole. Might even do it on the side of the hat. And I usually put a, a hole in the hat or the hole in the body to alleviate a little bit of the... Uh, if you had to go back into the piece, eliminate some of the... Anyway. And you got... Oh wait, you know what I forgot? The bail. Here, how can you play loop-de-loo -loo without the bail, huh? Got to have its hang ups. I'll do a couple of snowmen later on. There we go. You do the question mark, heat it up, let it slump into itself, and attach. 
Seal it in. And round it out. A little bit of graphite. Hope you enjoyed that. I did. Thanks for watching. Carpe Vitro. And enjoy your day.